Hello, Hillside friends and family. This is Pastor David coming to you on a Thursday night. It's kind of late, uh, Thursday night. Had kind of a crazy week. And so uh, I'm looking forward, though, to seeing you. I'm very excited for Sunday as we continue our series that we started, He Will Be Called. Actually, it says uh, coming next week, but that's actually in just a couple days, this Sunday. And so uh, we're going to be talking about one of the four uh, names that we're going to be looking at in this series. 700 years before Christ was born, the prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah 9, 6, For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And Sunday, we're going to be looking at the second one of those. We're going to be looking at that second statement of Jesus being our Mighty God. Looking forward to sharing it with you and uh, hope that you'll, that you'll be here and uh, that you'll have a great time with us worshiping and celebrating uh, Christ of Christmas. You know, uh, I want to just share with you also that um, we have a great opportunity this Saturday. And we've kind of been saying, hey, if you can sing or if you can read a poem or, or do something, um, you know, come on and we're going to go to the convalescent homes and go to different people's houses and encourage them. But I want you to know, you don't have to have any musical ability or talent whatsoever. So don't think if you say, well, I'm not a singer. I don't really have a great voice. We're going to be bringing a, uh, they're going to be bringing a, uh, a boom box, you know, a portable stereo to be able to sing along with the music. It's going to be a, a great time. So uh, December 10th, 10 o'clock, uh, and meeting at the church, kind of putting things together, and then uh, going to a convalescent home, visiting some people, and then um, coming back to the church for lunch, and then out, out to another convalescent home. And just a great time of encouragement for people. Now, you may not be able to, to uh, do it for the whole day. Maybe you can come in the morning. Maybe you can come from 10 o'clock until lunchtime, or maybe you can come at lunchtime and, and go out the rest of the uh, afternoon. Uh, just come whenever you can. It'll be a great time. And I'll tell you, I know from experience that it's usually uh, such a great blessing, not only the people that you go and sing to and minister to, but to yourself. I'll tell you, they are encouraging because they're so grateful. So hope that you'll come. December 10th, 10 o'clock, or if you want to come uh, by the church at lunch, Plan us to be there about one o'clock or so and have some lunch and then be back out again for, for a little while after that. You know, uh, every year we see, especially in the recent years, we see signs that say things like, Jesus is the reason for the season. You know, don't forget, you know, Christ in Christmas. And, you know, I wanted to just kind of make some suggestions as to a few ways maybe you can keep Christ as the focus of Christmas. One way is to remember, I mean, it's Jesus' birthday. Maybe there's a gift that you can give to him. For example, maybe the gift is something very sacrificial and maybe something uh, personal. It could be uh, committing to, to forgive someone that really needs to be forgiven, that's, that's really hurt you. And your gift to God is to forgive them. Maybe they don't even deserve it but to be able to give that forgiveness. Or maybe it's to, uh, to do some other kind of service. You know, I, I was reading about Corey Ten Boom, who, who was a great Christian and uh, was also uh, put in a concentration camp during, uh, in Germany during the Nazi regime. And uh, she said, you know, about forgiveness, that, that uh, forgiveness frees a prisoner. And once that forgiveness, that forgiveness is given, you find out that the prisoner is you. And so uh, maybe that would be your gift. Another, another uh, way to keep Christ as the focus of Christmas is set a time to be able to read the Christmas story. Maybe to your family or for yourself or maybe just a group of friends or if you have a small group, um, just to read. Maybe just Luke 1 and 2 and really catch that focus. A third way is to not forget to worship together with others. 
We've got some wonderful services planned. A week from this Sunday, uh, the 18th, we'll have a youth and children um, musical and a program. It's going to be a lot of fun. Following that, there's going to be a potluck uh, lunch, so it'll be a great time. Then on the 23rd, we're going to have our Christmas Eve Eve service. You heard that right. Christmas Eve Eve, the 23rd. And uh, it'll be at 7 o'clock, and we'll have some refreshments after that. And then, of course, Christmas morning, December 25th, 10.30 in the morning. What a great time for all of us. And uh, yes, the kids can wear their pajamas. Just come, get up. They'll already have been up, what, four, five, six hours at that point. Uh, and we'll have a great time together. You know, I did a service out at um, Oakmont Memorial Park uh, just on Tuesday. And it was really designed for people who had lost loved ones during this past year. Uh, especially those who are going to be experiencing their first holiday season without a loved one, family member, friend. Um, and in one case, one lady shared that they had lost three family members in the space of four days. And, uh, and they were really just seeking God's comfort. And we had a wonderful time, a sorrowful time, and also a celebration time to be able to really focus on the fact that God is with us. And, uh, and that may be your case. You may be going through a tough time. And I'm so happy to be able to tell you that Nancy Ward is just gifted and has, unfortunately, the, the experience to be able to know what that's like, to go through a loss. And so if you would like to meet with her individually or in a group, maybe with your family during this time, uh, be sure to uh, email her at nank50hotmail.com and just see if you can uh, have some comfort there. Maybe it's just one time or if you'd like to talk for a little bit, maybe even over the phone, um, seek her out. She's a great, great encouragement. I am looking forward to Sunday. I hope you'll plan to bring your family and your friends to Hillside. Uh, it's one of the easiest times to bring your family and friends, uh, to invite your, maybe your, your co-workers, people in your neighborhood who otherwise don't go to church. Um, invite them. It's a great time to be able to invite your friends. So we're going to have a wonderful time. We have some wonderful music planned, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend. I look forward to seeing you Sunday. God bless.